Yes my dudes. I'm Alex and thanks for checking out another V Breakdown. Today we're going to be breaking down an absolute banger from the Australian band 3070. I tapped this one out at about 107 BPM, it's in 4-4 time and the tune's called Breaking For This World To Change. Now just before we have a listen to the tune, it's worth a mention that for this one, I haven't written it out note for note with every single ghost note, every single accent notated, but instead what I've done is I've written out the basic grooves and then throughout the lesson we'll have a little talk about some different concepts and some different variations that we can apply to what we're playing. So with that in mind, let's have a quick listen and then we'll see if we can work out exactly what's happening. If you could only wait for this love to settle in my heart, I know that I could bloom in hands as soft as God. If mine and form within to me, would they be blessed and left to weep? I know that I could bloom in hands as soft as God. So would you? Would you wait for me? Would you? Would you? Would you wait for me, would you? Sick too, mate, and if you listen to the whole thing, which you definitely should, you'll hear that there's quite a lot going on, and the groove does actually change quite a lot throughout the track, but for today, we're gonna break down the main groove, which is what you've just heard, so let's get straight into it. So if you look at your notation, you'll see that I've written out a few different variations that come up throughout the track, so to get things started, we're gonna look at the one that's labeled your A groove. So you'll see that it's a two bar phrase, so we're gonna start with the first bar, and to get things started, we're gonna split it into two halves. So something important here is rather than playing on the hats or a cymbal, we're actually gonna play our right stick on the rim of a drum. So I'm gonna play on the high tom because for me that feels the most comfortable, but of course you could choose any drum, see what feels best, see what sounds the best to you. And if you have a look at your notation, you'll see that I've notated this with an X with a circle around it where your high tom would normally be written. So to get things going, we're gonna play the rim of our drum on beat one, the and of beat one, the uh of beat one, and then the E and the uh of beat two. One and a E, uh. And then we're gonna stick our bass drum in there on beat one and the uh of beat one. And then we're gonna play our snare drum on the and of beat two. So let's have a listen to how it sounds. I'm gonna play it for you twice at half speed and four times at full speed. So beat three of the bar is exactly the same as beat one of the bar. And then on beat four of the bar, you're gonna play the rhythm for E and. And the orchestration for that is gonna be snare rim rim with the sticking left, right, right. So all together, the second half is counted three and the four E and. Let's give it a go, my dudes. So if that's all making sense, let's see if we can piece both halves of the bar together. Standard procedure, two times slow, four times fast. So that's starting to sound a bit more like it, but if you remember, our main groove is actually played as a two bar phrase. So in the second bar, it's super similar. The only difference is that on the last eighth note of the bar, you're gonna play an open hi-hat with your left stick at the same time as that last rim. Now in theory, this is super easy to understand, but I actually found that it made the groove quite a lot harder to play because what you're left with is this tricky little sticking of left, right, together with your left hand moving from the snare drum up to an open hi-hat. So just take your time with this, Make sure it's feeling comfortable. Make sure there's no flamming between your hands. But if it's all feeling good, jump onto your kit and let's see if we can play it together.
smashed it, my dudes. Let's see how our two bars sound together. So that's the bare bones of our main groove nailed. So let's have a look at a few different variations that we can start to improvise with. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in all of the missing 16th notes with some ghost notes on the snare drum played with our left hand. The only one that we're gonna leave out is on the last 16th note of the bar because we wanna leave that space for the open hi-hat. Let's have a little listen to how that's gonna sound. So in my opinion, filling in all the missing 16th notes sounds super sick, but you might have noticed that in the actual tune, not every ghost note is played, but the ghost notes are actually improvised. So make sure that you get super comfortable with filling in every missing 16th note, and then our next step is to start to improvise with it. So experiment with filling in some 16th notes and leaving space for others. Let's have a little listen to how it sounds. Cool, so hopefully that will give you a basic kind of idea of how it can sound to improvise with your ghost notes in the groove. And of course, go and listen to the tune to hear how it was played on record. What I'd then recommend is just taking some time to come up with some of your own ideas as well. The next variation we're gonna look at, I've just labeled on your notation as variation. And this one, although it's a subtle difference, it makes quite a big impact on the overall sound of the groove. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly change the rhythm played on the rim of our drum on beat one of the second bar. So at the moment we're playing the rhythm one and a, and we're gonna change that to one e a. Uh. Now you wouldn't think that this would make that much of a difference to the overall sound, but in my opinion, it's a wicked variation and it makes a big impact on the groove. So what I'm gonna do is I'll play it for you twice at half speed, but then when we go up to full speed, I'll play it a couple times with no ghost notes, and then I'll start to fill in some of those missing 16th notes. Here we go, my dudes. The next variation we're gonna look at, I've labeled B groove on your notation. And this is where we're gonna change texture to give the tune a bit of a lift. So our B groove is super similar to our A groove. All you're gonna do is move your right stick from the rim of the drum up to the hi-hat, and then we're gonna fill in our missing 16th notes as ghost notes. We're gonna open our hi-hat on the uh of beat one and of beat three. And then the final little finishing touch is the last 16th note of the bar is sometimes played as a ghost note sometimes played as an accent. So for now, I've written out that in bar one, we're gonna play a ghost note. In bar two, you're gonna play an accent. But of course, when you're comfortable with this, you can start to just freely improvise. If it's all making sense, jump onto your kit and let's hear how it sounds. Smashed it, mate. Now, if you remember, at the start of the lesson, I mentioned 
that I hadn't written out every single ghost note and every single accent note for note. And the reason is because we want to be able to improvise with this stuff rather than playing everything note for note exactly how it was recorded on the day. So the final variation that we're going to look at today is to improvise with some snare drum accents while still keeping our B groove going. Now you can choose whether you want to accent notes that you're already playing on the snare drum or whether you want to bring both hands down to the snare drum and almost approach it like a fill. There's really no right or wrong here, but the things that I will say are we want to make sure that we keep our beat going and that we make sure that it still grooves. Now I'm playing a lot of variations here and I'm definitely overplaying for the sake of demonstration, but just experiment with it, see what you can come up with and then try and give it some space to keep it nice and musical. Nice work mate, it's a killer tune with some killer grooves and as always if you go and learn any of the grooves that we've looked at in this lesson and you upload a video of you playing them, I would love to see them man. You can tag me up on Instagram at, at drumhubtuition. I'm also doing a weekly Q&A over there where I'll answer your drumming questions in a video response posted straight to my grid where I'll tag you. And remember, drum lesson giveaway at 5k subscribers mate, so if you're digging the videos, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew man and feel free to leave a track recommendation for the Drum Hub Jukebox playlist down in the comments below. I'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,